Hey everybody, welcome back to Better Computer. My name is Matt, and another day, another Raycast video. But uh, this one I am really excited about because we're going to be taking a look at Raycast AI, which is currently in beta, and it's uh, available on a waitlist, so you can just, uh, if you have a Raycast account, um, you can just join the waitlist, and hopefully they'll let you in relatively soon. They have a whole website that explains what you can do with it, but I wanted to give you a hands-on demo, as I like to do, uh, to give you an idea for how it actually works in real-world use cases. So let's take a look and just kind of launch it right now. So the very first thing you can do with it is a chat GPT style thing. So you just search for ask AI and then it brings up this and you can say, uh, who are you? Right. And it's going to say I'm Raycast AI. Uh, what GPT version do you use? And it's going to say, uh, yep, uh, data up to September 2021. I was using the GPT-3 architecture. However, my developers have updated my architecture since then. So that's a little unclear. That's not GPT-4. Um, I did some searches earlier. It's not using that. So it's still on GPT-3, probably 3.5. Um, but anyway, uh, so that's what it's using. And you could say like, uh, summarize the plot of, um, oops, of the matrix in 30 words or less. And that should give me a relatively reasonable um, explanation of the matrix. Cool. Uh, say it in Spanish. Right. And so this is just chat GPT stuff. So um, that's available to you. You just search for Ask AI and this will appear. And then you can just hit Command R to refresh and just start over. So that's the first thing you can do. The next thing you can do is summarize text. So or you can do things to text that's selected. So the primary use case for this is kind of selecting some text. So let's say I've got this long article here. and I don't want to read this last section. I just want to summarize it. Maybe this is an email, maybe it's something else, but you'll get the idea. So this is me talking about uh, what I think of the state of ironically large language models today. Um, so I just have the text selected. And if I bring up Raycast, I can do uh, Raycast AI um, without a typo, ideally. And you can see I can search AI commands. So what commands can I do on this? So I can change the tone to professional. I can make it shorter, find bugs in the code, um, improve the writing, fix grammar and spelling, like that sort of thing. Let me actually just make this shorter because I don't want to read the whole thing. Uh, this might be good if you write a long email and you want to kind of shorten it down. It might give you an idea for how to do that. So um, this is it trying to uh, condense what I wrote into just a paragraph. Um, I've looked, I've, I'm not going to read this one live, but uh, in the past, I think these have done pretty well, actually, at summarizing things. Uh, if I hit Command R to reload, it's going to try it again. And again, because of the way these things work, it's going to give you something different every time. So if you don't love the first option, uh, especially if it's for like an email that you're trying to write, uh, you can just hit refresh as many times as you want and have it create something, uh, something new, something better that might work for what you're looking for. Now, here's another one. Let's go ahead and pull up this. Let's say this is a message that I was going to send, maybe maybe an email that I was going to send. I can't believe you didn't reply to my last email in a timely manner. I'm going to absolutely lose my mind if this happens again. So just select the text and bring up Raycast. And we are going to, uh, I just happen to know this is one of the things, change tone to professional. So let me do that. I was surprised that I did not receive a response to my last email in a timely manner. I would appreciate a prompt reply if this occurs again much nicer, right? <laughs> um, and again, you can command R um, to get different versions of it. But this is definitely better. This is one that's going to get me in trouble at work. So you can modify text that way. Uh, let's try another one. So here's a post I was going to put up on social media. I was thinking about trying out the new mic product from Microsoft, or from Microsoft. Their promo videos do have a tendency to make their apps look really nice. And then the actual experience is pretty bad. So let me just select that. And then I have a custom one called Make It Spicy, which we'll look at in a second. So make this spicy. I just tried out the latest offering from Microsoft. It's so great. Just like their promo videos suggest. It looks amazing, but the experience isn't. Hashtag Microsoft fail. Um, okay, let me reload and try it again. Check out the new Microsoft product. Their promotional videos make it look amazing. But trust me, the actual experience is really bad. Hashtag Microsoft fail. Okay. Um, and again, you can actually perform a couple actions here. So you can uh, paste the last response to Mona, uh, which is the app that I was looking at. Uh, copy last response, copy the whole chat, ask AI. So let's go ahead and paste this into Mona. So that's actually replaced what I had there with this new sassy, pretty mean actually, <laughs> post uh, that I could do instead. So use this wisely. Um, but I ironically, so like let's say this is what I actually wrote myself, this rude thing. Uh, I could say, uh, change tone to professional. And so 
There we go. Uh, hashtag Microsoft disappointment. This is actually very great. <laughs> Microsoft fail is too mean, but Microsoft disappointment, that's professional. Um, so anyway, you can tweak text. You, you'll have your own use cases, obviously, for this. Um, but let's take a look at how I actually did this uh, spicy one. Because there's a, this additional thing. Let's take a look at this article again. Um, so let's say I have this one and I want to make it spicy. I can actually just hit a keyboard shortcut and immediately do this. Um, I was so enthusiastic about the NFT craze last year. I was not. Um, I was enthusiastically against the NFT craze. Anyway, um, so it's not always right. But how did I do that? I just selected some text and then I hit a keyboard shortcut and it starts to make it spicy right away. So how did I do this? Let me uh, close. Let me minimize the browser to get rid of that distraction. Um, we have Raycast AI. So when I go to search commands, I can see all these things. Um, and then I had make it spicy should be at the bottom. Yeah, that's my custom one. So as with everything in Raycast, you can hit command K to get some more actions and edit AI command is what I want to do. So the title is whatever I want it to be. The instruction is basically to take whatever text I have selected or feed into it, make this super sarcastic and in the format of a social media post to Twitter or for Twitter. Um, I can give it a different icon and I can tell it how creative to be. Um, so that's what I've created. Um, and then uh, just for clarity, uh, you can create an AI command here and you give it a name, instruction, and then all those things. Uh, I just showed you the one I've already created. Now, how do I set that to a keyboard shortcut? Well, the great thing about Raycast is basically anything in the app can be set to a, a system level hotkey. Uh, so if I go to the extensions page in the settings and Raycast AI, you can do this for anything, right? Um, you can just go down here and uh, look at all the commands. Um, but Raycast AI, here's all the things. And you can see, I can just click record hotkey on any of these and make the spicy, I've already done this. Um, so. All of these things are able to be done with a quick command. Um, so if you don't want to, if you just want to like go into the chat GPT thing quickly, um, let's do all the things and then see your new hotkey is selected. So now I'm just kind of working throughout the day. I'm like, Ooh, I want to do something in chat GPT. Just hit the keyboard shortcut. Uh, and then you ask it whatever you want to ask it. So being able to do that is really rad. Um, yeah. And so all the things you can do in chat GPT are here. Uh, I've got a code thing here. Um, so like this is an example of a code sample on Stack Overflow that I might want to use. And I find personally when I'm looking at code samples on Stack Overflow, sometimes the explanations are too advanced for me. And I don't really understand them. So what I can do is select this text uh, and we will do, uh, I forget what it's called. So let's do search AI commands and let's see, da -da 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 -da. there's one that's explain code step by step. So what is this code doing? I'll scroll down so you can see it. Um, and it's going to explain it pretty well. It's not 100% uh, or not right 100% of the time, but it's right enough that it can be really helpful in ways that aren't necessarily going to be um, explained by a human. Again, I think humans are generally better at this, but every once in a while you're like, I don't understand what you're saying, and this can help in those cases. So that's it for Raycast AI. That's it for me today. Um, pricing is unclear at the moment. Uh, they haven't announced pricing. Um, I think that's down here. Uh, duh, 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 how will, much will they cost? It's free during the beta period, and then it will likely uh, cost something as it tends to be pricey. So yeah, that's kind of one of the things is this AI stuff is really expensive to run on the server right now. So basically everyone who's rolling it out has to charge for it. And we'll see what the cost is and whether it's worth it. But hopefully the cost is reasonable because I really like this implementation. Um, and there's a lot more I could do with it, but this was a quick introduction. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.